Hi. Yo, yo, yo. I have the most awkward introductions to YouTube in the whole world. I don't think you do. You're quite good at intros. Mm. Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're having a good week. It's Friday for us today, isn't it? It's Friday. So we've got a Macca's. Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Hold up. Yeah, got a Macca's, got a Starbucks. Basically today we thought we'd do a little catch up video for you guys. I know we've been doing like loads of vlogs and showing you around the house. Last video was obviously the updated house tour. We thought it was about time to sit down and like actually talk about like what the pros and cons are. So there might be some of you that haven't bought a new build and are kind of wondering like what the pros and cons are. Dig into my chicken selects. Enjoy those chicken selects. Hi Minnie, she's going to be <clears throat> looking at our food the whole video by the way. She knows that it's not hers. So, the first obvious con of buying a new build is you are going to find snags. It's a brand new house. No one's ever lived in it before. When you move into a new build, there's always like little nicks on the paintwork. There's things that aren't right. There's like things that need fixing basically. And that's what a snag is. So we've had various different ones from all different trades. We're actually having to get our kitchen taken out because the worktop's cracked. Yeah. Um, which isn't ideal and that's very just disruptive. That's an example. But that's an example of like the cons that we've had to endure. We've watched them building. Obviously, <clears throat> we're living on a building site at the moment. We can see how quickly they go up. And it is like house after house after house or apartment after apartment. So everything kind of is a little bit rushed. But you do get the opportunity to like highlight the snags that come up. So move into the house. They say like settle in the house because obviously you're going to sit at different angles around the house. You're going to see different things over time. Mm -hmm. You're not just going to walk in the house and see them all straight away. We basically uh, left it a couple of days and then we went around the whole house, didn't we, with a notepad. We're not going to lie to you guys. We wrote down how many things? It was over 100. Over 100. But yeah, you just write them all down Paint and then you hand them over to them and they start the process of like booking people in to come and fix them. <laughs> Another con that we've had, and I'm not saying that everybody is going to have this same experience. But when they actually come back to do the snags, we mm. felt a little bit like they've rushed it, haven't we? Like, like the plumber coming in, it was like like a Thursday morning at like nine o'clock and it looked like he was trying to finish on a Friday at four o'clock and we were just <laughs> asking him to do like a whole bathroom. Like, there was no need for him to rush. He left all rubbish everywhere and it was just not a great experience, was it, for that one? Same with the painter today. Like he did all most of the stuff he needed to do, but he was just rushing. Like. So basically those two things, the fact that you get snags and the fact that they try to fix them really quickly or kind of mm. try to botch some of the jobs. Like This is sounding really morbid, but we will just go through all the cons first. There are pros as well, guys. Yeah, there are loads of pros. You got, we we want to be like transparent and honest about it because yeah. there's no point not telling it's, you like... This is an informative video for all you guys out there that are waiting to look and see if you wanted to buy any food. We're actually being serious for like one video. Okay, another snag that I thought of, which I'm sure you'll agree, is basically if you were like planning to get your kitchen redone, say, you would want like the highest quality appliances, like the highest quality of stuff because you're paying for someone to come in and do it. When you buy a new build, I feel like the quality of some of the stuff that we've got in here isn't the best. Like the appliances in the kitchen aren't amazing. Like they're mm -hmm. like cheap. Same goes with like the sinks and the toilets yeah. and stuff. Everything is very basic because obviously they're trying to make the most profit that they can on the house. Like our washing machine doesn't have a screw like a screen on it display, so you don't yeah. know how long but, the wash is going to be on i think one of our washes went on for like three hours at one point and we but, were like what but if you if you have the money like you like you feel like you can afford to upgrade with the builder then like fair play to you like you should do that because mm. you do get like i think there was like a bosch appliance but I it was like was, four yeah. and a half grand because you can yeah. just upgrade your dishwasher or something you have to dish you have to upgrade everything so it's like four and a half grand to upgrade your kitchen. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say as well, I've put down as a con, is when you do upgrade stuff in a new build, they seem to put like a bit of a premium on yeah, it. So like, premium. we, um, not we, but Joe has a lot of family in trade, which you probably would have guessed from the fact we've like knocked a hole for our wall, had our radiator change within a month of moving in. We kind of know how much things actually cost to do. And when we looked at like getting a worktop in the kitchen, the kitchen is not a big kitchen. They were trying to charge four grand for a quartz worktop. 
and we know that that kitchen would not be four grand no. for a quartz worktop. You've got sesame seed on your lip. Have I? Oh my god. <laughs> I bet I've had that on there for like the whole video. McFlan and a cappuccino is kind of a weird combo. I think that's pretty much all the cons that I wrote down. Is there any others that you can think of? No, yeah. Haven't been able to change our driving licenses because the DVLA don't recognise that our addresses exist. So same with car insurance, same with deliveries. Like it just everyone seems to not not be able to find us. We've had loads of parcels going missing. Some random has my knickers. How embarrassing. Some advice: if you are buying a new build, make sure you speak to the builder and find out that they've they've submitted your postcode to the Royal Mail because. We had to do ours. That takes like 10 days for them to refresh it. So you try and get it done early doors so that when you move in, it's like already sort of established. I had to like go on Google Maps and like submit our address as an address because mm. it wasn't on Google Maps. So this is the moment you've all been waiting for. What is that? The pros. The pros. Because <laughs> we do actually like our house yeah, as much it. as we've just sl slandered. Yeah. Slandered it? Slated it. it. Nothing that's happened, any of those cons, has changed the fact that we love that we bought this no, house. No, no way. Like, the snags are annoying and it's annoying that people keep coming back into your house to fix them. But that is kind of a pro as well because if you moved into somewhere that someone else has been living in, when you go you to view that. a house, you just view a house right. I know you're going to probably check that the doors work, check that, <laughs> you, know, work. you know, you might check the boiler, but realistically, you're not going to look under the floorboards, you're not going to look at the plumbing and stuff like that. And if something goes wrong when you move in, that is going to be at a cost to you. So if yeah. you've got a leak under the floorboards, straight away that's going to cost a lot of money to fix as well for us we've moved in here and yes there are things wrong with it touch wood we don't have any leaks so far but if there was like we know that we'd be able to get that fixed within the next two years yeah. without it being any extra cost to us and i think that is like a really nice feeling when you buy somewhere because you just feel a bit more secure don't yeah, you exactly. like god forbid anyone buys a house and their boiler packs up expensive. as soon as they moved in and it's already an expensive time and you've got to pay for that so yeah that and is we a know massive our, like, pro boiler is brand new yeah like it's a combi boiler that's a definitely a massive pro is yeah is being able to have that peace of mind and linden have been good like they've, yeah they've sort of been attentive like he comes around and says oh like just want to sit down and check that everything's getting done and it is getting done like we're, we're two months in and we're majority of the way through oh i totally forgot to mention as well the extent of how much they've done things for us we weren't happy with some of the brickwork out the front of our house they literally cut the bricks out and redid yeah. it didn't they pro number two is the fact that you can choose everything <laughs> You can choose like a shadow. You can choose everything that goes not everything but you can choose like the main aspect much, so yeah. you can choose the floor the kitchen design. Yeah. We didn't spend any extra money on upgrading anything. No. And we got everything that we really wanted in terms of yeah. like style. Yeah, like, like this, a all white sort of style kitchen. Like, it's not like in. high quality but it looks nice. Yeah. The carpets the we chose. The carpets really nice. I um, like that. The I tiles in the bathroom you choose. It is nice to walk into a house and be like I've picked this. So yeah, that is pro number two, is the fact that you can get to choose everything. Number three. Pro is... number three. Oh my God, that was so <laughs> Three. <laughs> so pro number three would be leading on from the fact that you pick it. When you walk in the house, it's clean. Like, you know, when you see those videos of people doing the renovation and they have to move into a house and there is literal like mold on the walls, the grout is all needs like all the redo. cupboards, the everything oven, is like everything. really great. Yeah, the oven. Oh my god. You walk into a new build and everything is clean. In that respect, you can like keep on top of it a little bit easier. Pro number. Oh my god, I just put four. three up when it was four. Pro number four <laughs> is seems to just never get cold in here. And I know, that, I know that it's only obviously it's not that cold outside, but even when you get up in the morning, like I know like in when you're so used to like being summertime, then the first early stages of autumn when it's cold at it's night, freezing, you come yeah. downstairs and it's like, of course, it's freezing. Yeah, and you don't want to get out there. To but the here, it's like I come down in my boxers. I'll come down in my pants to let Millie out for a wee. Our house has basically got a big blanket on. Yeah. And we're like nice and, and, nice and warm inside. And into our loft and, and there's like that much insulation. Yes. Yeah, and like the walls have got, ins have got insulation sick. in. But yeah, well insulated. I remember any of them people that were like super gluing themselves to the road or whatever. 
blocking off the M25. <laughs> Getting covered in it. Insulate here. Britain. For number five. <laughs> I can't actually deal with you. I've literally lost my trailer before now. Oh yeah, I know what I was gonna say. When you move into a new build, everything is literally ready for you to move in. There's no like question about whether you're gonna have to leave stuff in one room and only be able to live in certain rooms because you're renovating other rooms. You don't have to sleep in a caravan because you're renovating the whole house. You literally bring the boxes through the front door put them in your house, unpack, and you're ready to go. And then if you're like, actually not through holes in your walls, yeah. but regular, regular people, regular people, yeah, normal yeah. people don't do that. Pro number six is when we were buying a house, well, when we were looking for a house, we were spent, we spent probably about nine months sort of looking, going to view places. There wasn't many that we really, really liked. Yeah. So there was one that we liked enough to put an offering on. It was just like, it was ridiculous. Like we put an offer in on the asking price and then it went for like 30 grand more than what it was in the market for. And like that was happening across the board with all of these other houses. We were literally, I was in the barbers and I was speaking to my barber and I was like, look, I'm actually just done with it. Like I'm just gonna put it to bed and just we'll pick it up next year. Yeah. And then on that day, the sales rep for here phoned Bethan and said that They've got some plots coming up. Like, did we want to come down and have a look, have a meeting and have a look and see which one we would like potentially wanted? And they paid five hundred pounds, reserved the plot, and then that What's was your it. Uncle? Like, we don't have to compete with anyone. We didn't no. have to like bid. We didn't have to do any of that. And that is stressful. Yeah, like, that is the biggest stress like, I think. Like, because you're literally like waiting for that estate agent to call you as well, like to tell you whether someone else is bid higher. There's so much less hassle and faff with buying a new build. Pro number seven. Do you know what? The actual process of like buying something that's being built is so exciting. Like we came down yeah, the, this like road to watch our house go from like bricks up to a roof and it was just like the best thing we were, like, in the world. Like, wasn't people it? who lived we at the like end of the nuts. road must think like we were literally looking through the gate <laughs> Like trying to see it, like, oh yeah, look, they've got the windows in, oh yeah, they've like, oh, got the plastering, so they've got the again. windows open. <laughs> but it's so exciting, and also like picking your house on the map before it's being built, it just really does feel like no one else's house but ours because yeah. we've literally been the first people in it, we've seen it like from the ground up. So I feel like we've covered off yeah, most I feel of like the that is a good, cons, that is a good, nice pros and cons video. Thinking about buying a new build house, then. I definitely would recommend yeah. it. Before we end the video, by the way, if you are not subscribed to our channel yet and you've been watching these videos, we would be so grateful if you took five minutes to make an account and subscribe. How many people were like watching the videos without being subscribed? I think it was like too many. I think it was like seventy percent of people. Yeah. It really helps our videos and our channel yeah. and we would be very grateful. By the way, if we're looking weirdly at the side of the camera the whole time we've got a new camera and we're just not really that used to it so i do apologize <laughs> she's so tired bye guys see ya